It's not a part at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum in Richmond, Virginia. This is the oldest house that exists in Richmond, which is really cool. It's really pretty. This is a courtyard. We got a fountain here. And over here, let's see. We got a bust of Poe. I'm sure that guy was in here. And there's my family. Careful. What do you guys think of this courtyard? Would this be cool to have in a city with your house? Yeah. All right, let's go through here. Are we allowed in the house? Like, I'm so confused. Oh, okay. A mysterious death. So, Poe's final days were so sad. Died in Philadelphia. I've been to his house in Philadelphia. Look at that. Look at those stockings. He had small feet, unless they stretched. There's the raven. That is a cool old portrait. Sister. 
furniture from his childhood. The mantle from his childhood bedroom. Piano from his sister. Nurses. This is post chair. Start in this chair while editing the Southern Literary Messenger in the, mi in the magazine the chat. It's about five slots with here. Among the works, both and post on. Do you like your your bed for a little bit? The nature room? Yes, this is good. With the little critters? That's so cute. It's just, oh, just long so enough cute. for me. So let's just... Come here. Okay, come here. Our cute Airbnb. There goes the cute little guy. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? It's got a fan. And Micah's taking a bath because we don't have a bathtub at our home, so we're all excited. Yeah, we're all going to take baths. I love this little little kitchen. It's bigger than my kitchen. Imagine how nice that would be to have something this size. And there's a laundry room, and there's a cute outdoor area. And then our bedroom, which is pretty dark. I can't find the lights with our luggage. A minimalist that packs for 10 days can fit it all in one little pack. They have a little pack and play for us. That's really cute. Oh, you found it. We're at our Airbnb, which we've stayed at on our way down to Florida and then on our way back from Florida. So this is our halfway point back to New Jersey. And it's really nice. We like it. It's a little cottage. It has a living room, a little reading room, which is so cute. A kitchen, which I'm sitting at the table right now. Look at that, how cute. Isn't that cute? And right now I'm feeding Dean. Say hi, Dean. It's very peaceful. Oh, we didn't have any problems coming to this area. So I'm really happy. Florida was tiring. So I can't wait to get home tomorrow. And it's hard to drive with a baby for so long. We took breaks. It's just, it's not easy. And he's so good. He didn't really complain at all. And you know, he, he got hungry at the very end and we we're like, we're like 10 minutes away. But you putting your head down to, I'm just tired. Okay. You're tired too. And my bangs are growing so long. I can't wait to cut them. And my, my nails are getting long. His nails are getting long. Rob's nails are getting long. We're all like, oh, I can't wait to cut this thing. And to just relax. There's always something nice about going back home after a vacation. Also, I got really tan. My face doesn't look it, but you can see my hand is tan and my arm. I just, I keep getting really tan from the sun and I'm so greasy and dirty. I can't wait to clean up. Ah, oh, I feel so gross. <laughs> 
and I showered and bathed every day, but it's so hot down here in the South. I am not made for the South. Even though I don't like the winter, I have come to the conclusion I do not like the South weather at all. I am so a Northeast US citizen. <laughs>